I decided to set up a spalding backboard that I got for my kids. Um, funny thing is, I went to the store and bought it, and I set it all up, assembled it, da-da, it's right there, you can see it, it's awesome. Uh, only thing is, it does not come with the universal mounting bracket, which is serial number 8406, but nowhere on the Spalding box does it say that it does not come with that so that's a little bit frustrating so i'm making this video today just to let you know that if you're going out to buy the spalding 50 inch combination backboard and rim model number 793490ca that you need to get the universal mounting bracket and yeah it's not much, it's only a couple of nuts and bolts. It uh, didn't take long to assemble. There it is there. So, uh, and just future reference, I didn't see many videos on this for installing it to a wall, which I'm doing today. So what I did is I mounted the bracket right here on the back of the backboard. I made a template right there to go through all my holes. Then I took my template up to the wall and I made the four holes up there. Yeah, you can see them. So I drilled through from outside into the garage this way, uh, leaving four holes, one, two, three, four. Um, now I have secured the new boards to hold the backboard for the basketball net. So I'm going, I screwed it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 screws into these two boards and they are two and a half inch long screws into the studs of the garage that are holding on the particle board. So yeah, I just used a half inch drill bit to drill through the wall and the siding and into the two by fours that I mounted on the back of the wall. So be honest with you, I made a little bit of a mistake, but I think it might end up being a better thing in the long run. I drilled half inch holes through my garage wall, thinking that that was the right size bolt for this bracket. Unfortunately, it is not. The hole, if you can see it here, is only about so I went to Home Depot during the quarantine and I waited for one hour to get into the store and I bought half inch bolts hex bolts half inch four inches long and I got home went to put the basketball net up and then I was like wait a second these bolts are obviously not going to go through this hole. Great. So what am I going to do now? Am I going to go back to Home Depot, return them, wait for an hour? No. I figured, you know what? It might just be faster if I drill the hole out a smidgen with my drill bit. This is the largest drill bit I had. So there it is there. That was, I did that to all four. One, two, three three, four, and then I have used my Dremel in the hole like this, slowly going round and round and round and round and round and round about 150 times or more maybe. But now, or maybe not, oh hold on, that one needs to be a little more work done on it. One needs a bit. Oh, I think it shrunk up. This one, look, see that one goes through no problem now. Uh, I think they shrank with uh, once they cooled down, they'd expanded when they were hot. So, anyway, now I just use my Dremel. 
always make sure you're wearing your safety glasses and earbuds. So now you just dremel the hole. And test it. Oh, it fits. Perfect. So now I just have it to do it on this one, the last one. Hey guys, just shooting the end of the basketball net video install. Um, it was pretty difficult to put it up. I only have a six foot step ladder. I probably could have used an eight foot step ladder, would have made life a lot easier. It's heavy. Um, my arms were burning after holding it for a couple of minutes. I had somebody on the inside of the garage um, with a ratchet tightening up the nuts onto the bolts when we pushed them through the wall. Um, after two were in, it was easy enough, but the holding it for the first, holding it with one hand, pushing the bolt through, and then waiting for my brother-in-law to ratchet it down. He did it fast enough, but still, it still takes a few minutes to put the washer on the nut on, and then start ratcheting. Um, and then I was holding a ratchet on the outside as well, just to speed things up, I was ratcheting as well. Um, it took a little bit. Um, make sure you have uh, like two people on the outside, one person on the inside, when mounting it like that through a wall. Um, yeah, and I'm just gonna show you uh, like a quick walk through around and I'll point out some things and then uh, good luck to you while you're doing it. There's the four bolts, one, two on this side on the top, the other one on the bottom. Sorry guys, it's hard angle to get out of here. Uh, push those four inch bolts through my wall, um, ratcheted on this side and make sure you measure the thickness of your wall before you just go out and buy a half inch, or sorry, a four inch bolt. Um, and make sure that you measure the size of the hole and you don't make the same mistake I did with drilling a hole larger than needed to be. It then took me another like two hours to make the holes on the bracket the same size as my bolts. So anyway. Okay, so uh, my brother-in-law Sean was up in here. Uh, he ratcheted down these bolts on the inside while I was on the outside um, holding the net up. Anyway, yeah, so there it is, it's all done. Hey, I just wanted to apologize guys uh, that I did not film the actual basketball net going up. Um, could have used three people, should have had three people. Uh, if I had three people here, like two of us putting up the basketball net, one person filming or yeah, I probably would have just yelled at them and told them, hey, you know what, uh, get over here and help us put up this basketball net. There was a few times where I, I thought it was going to drop. Anyway, uh, enjoy your day and put up a basketball net.